You love her? You love Vivian? Are you guys in love? <laughs> so how do you guys meet? <laughs> Let's take it back from the start. All, All right. right. Back to the start, yeah. It's not, it's not very far it's back. It's not very long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we met in March on Facebook. We had a mutual friend, but he played no role in introducing us. Okay. Um, I added her when she liked our mutual friend's status update because I've always had this peculiar fascination for the for the name Vivian. So really? yeah, yeah, click through. Right. Yeah, I I don't know. I think it's sort of a Freudian thing because uh, any name with a V in the middle, any female name with a V in the middle of it, yeah. you know, I go crazy with like Eva, Vivian, IV, Olivia, Evangeline. You know, wow. yeah, I, I really love those names, and I can't explain why. But you, you can't attribute this to anything in your childhood when you were younger because Freudian <laughs> is, is always very base level, very, very, very infantile sort of like development. So. I, not, not that I'm aware of. Right. Yeah, but anyway, I clicked through her profile and then mm. I, I, saw, I saw her pretty face, of course. Okay. Yeah, and then according to her, she saw my handsome face as well and that's why she approved me. Was your previous girlfriend's uh, with, name uh, with v, letter V's, V's. In, 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 in the name? Sorry, yeah. They don't have Christian names, so no. Oh, okay. Yeah. So she's the first. She's the first V. Yeah, she's the first V one. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so so how do you the, uh, touch base with her, message her? What do you first? Oh, say? the first the first thing I sent to her, you know, standard operating procedure for guys like me who are <laughs> looking for girls online is uh, just dropping you a line to say that you're cute. Right. Yeah, and then she was like, "Thanks." It's as simple as that. And then there was like silence for the next whole week, because you know I was busy with other girls at the moment uh, at that time. Sure. Coincidentally, another girl called Vivian. Really? Another yeah, who, yeah, who okay. currently works in Singapore, but I, you know, I don't want to talk so much about her. Uh, and then one week later, she messaged me, like just dropping by to say hi. Mm -hmm. you know, for me, for, for a guy like me, I know that that is code for something. You know, it means like, right. hey, I thought you were interested in me, but now you're not saying anything to me. You know, I'm kind of confused. Like, mm -hmm. Will you please tell me like, where, where I stand? Am I still in your uh, you know, active list? Okay, so, so why, why did this one Vivian win out over the other Vivian? <laughs> What do you mean? Because you, you you said you were dating a couple of girls on the side uh, yeah. while you wait while, while you try to play it cool for that one week, right? Right. Um, and then, coincidentally, you said there was another girl called Vivian. So what, why did you choose this the new Vivian over the, the old Vivian? Well, actually, things with that Vivian weren't going that well anymore because uh, when that Vivian found out that I was uh, seeing another girl, uh, she you know she couldn't accept it. You see, okay. yeah. So things things were kind of rocky at that point, and I guess the. The current Vivian came in at pretty much the right time. Right. Yeah. Should all Vivians be afraid of you? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, if you run through my uh, Facebook friends list, you'll find about ten Vivians there. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, do you do you willfully seek Vivians out on Facebook? In the past, yes, but ever since, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know why. I just can't explain why. But uh, I I usually get a lot of excitement out of a Vivian approving me. Really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. But but I no longer I no longer actively search for Vivian or any girls for the matter because you know now they search for me. How yeah, does this work? Because you you guys live in different cities, right? Yeah, we live in different states. Mm. In fact, so you were in KL then. I was in KL. She was in Malacca. Okay. And then one day, she, uh, I think that's about two weeks uh, into adding each other. She, she we we chatted. Mm -hmm. mm, I, I don't think we exchanged exchanged many messages because you know a guy like me go straight to the point, you know, right. we got to meet up, you know, I'm not going to be a chat buddy, you see. Um, then uh, about 20 messages and then she suggested that she might want to come up to KL to meet me, you see. So after that, when she said that, then, you know, I, I gave her my number, we arranged a place and time. Uh, we had a brief phone call the day before just to make sure that she'll be coming up because I don't want to be mm -hmm. waiting there for no one. And then she showed up, you know, uh, surprisingly. And then we, we had a very eventful first date. Right. What happened? <laughs> Let's just say we, we talked a lot mm. on the way back and she said something like, you know, I've never built up so much chemistry with a person in such a short amount of time. Mm. And then we had dinner um, and then we walked in the park and uh, well, we got intimate in the park and right. because she was supposed to stay in my place. So, you know, she stayed in my place. Yes, that's just... W were there recording involved? No recording for the first time. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> Do you think she, she probably had done this with, with another guy before you? Like just meet up online and stuff like that? Because you know, if, if open to, to this, she might have been open to... Does it bother you? Yeah, another guy before. I, I think she would have done things like that in the past. Um, that's not a problem with me. Okay. But I don't think it would have 
gotten to this level right now, you know, because uh, she has always told me that she has found trouble finding guys with enough balls and guts. Whose idea was it to, to start the blog? It depends how far you want to go back to right. look okay. at the genesis of it. Because it was her idea to take the nude photos at first. Okay. All right. And then uh, I think we had a mutual idea to upload it on Facebook. Um, that didn't work out. And then somehow the idea of the blog came out. Yeah. It's safe to say that, that you're, you love her? You love Vivian? Are you guys in love? I love spending time with her. Okay. Okay. She has said, she has said uh, in, in reports that, that, she, that she loves you and, and what you do in a blog is, is love shared between... Uh, it's an act of, of love sh- uh, shared between two people and stuff like that. So is, is it a one-sided thing? Well, let's not, let's not jump to conclusions. It's more of a... Um, I'm taking this slowly. Okay. Um, she's more certain than I am about it. That that explains her, you know, openness about love and things like that. But I would say that I thoroughly enjoy her, her um, company, and you know, that if I have the if if I have the opportunity, I would like to spend a lot of my time with her.